Now, we're trying something new with the camera today just to test it out. Probably switch back to uh, doing what I normally do, but I wanted to see how it looks because today is all about taking pictures. For instance, what's your favorite theme that is unique? You can't think of another game like I can think of exactly one other game that is all about taking pictures, and that's called Zoom in Barcelona. But today, we're talking about a game called Picture Perfect. Now, I saw this at Gen Con. Robert Geitzlinger said, here, you have to play this. I was like, well, yeah, of course I have to play it mostly because he told me that, but also it looked amazing. It's a game where you're trying to take the best picture. It's a deduction logic game, not of trying to figure out who someone else is, but, but trying to figure out what each character wants in the round. So, no more gilding, gilding the lily, let's talk. Man, that's a hard phrase to say. No more messing around, whatever you want to say, gilding the lily, as it were. Let's take a look right now at Picture Perfect from Arcane Wonders. So this is what you will need for your playthrough of Picture Perfect. Everyone gets a background, they get a table, and they get a floor, reverse sides, and none of this really matters other than the aesthetics. And then you get a bag full of 14 different characters that you're going to be trying to figure out where they want to stand. And yes, one of those characters is a corgi, and the other one is this fern, in front of the table or around the table for the pictures. You also get decorations. These are decorations in the regular mode and their currency in the auction mode. So some of these decorations can even be used to hide people's faces. Now, why would I want to hide someone's faces? Well, the way the game works is every single character has an envelope, envelope, wherever you're from, doesn't matter. And what's going to happen is you're going to take three of these cards. Now, these are preference cards. They show where the characters like to be in the photograph. They're going to get three of these. Your goal is to meet all of the preferences of each character. Now, granted, that's not always possible. If you meet only one of them, you get one point, two is worth three points, and three is worth six points. If, in fact, someone chooses to slide their VIP card into an envelope, that character scores twice. So if you do really great, you can get 12 points on somebody. Heck, even more if multiple people have multiple VIPs in that card. But, <clears throat> so these are things like I want to stand away from the table. So back here, uh, I, want, I, don't, I want to stand next to this guest or be this guest. I want to stand on the fourth row. I don't want anyone standing in front of me. And we'll talk about what that means in just a second. These are all just different preferences that everyone's going to get. And some of them will cover other people's faces. Some of them will make sure they want to be in the very front. Other things like that. Then what's going to happen is once... You, you start with a, f a set of envelopes each, and there'll be some left in the middle of the table. You're going to look at yours. Now, notice there are two types of cards here. You've got dance and auction cards. The dance cards are ones that are going to switch characters around in the regular mode. Auction cards are a little different. It says, beginning with the starting player, the active player chooses one of their envelopes to auction. All other players hide their bid in their hands and simultaneously reveal their bids. Tied players secretly bid again. So the way this works is you're either going to just switch envelopes around to give people information, or you can use a little bit deeper mode with the mechanics of an auction, but both of them accomplish the same thing. They give you more information because you're trying to get all the information of all the characters, and you're going to be placing them out onto the board. So eventually you're going to have all the spaces filled because it's four, uh, four, six, eight. 10, 14. So all the spaces are filled if you choose. Now, you don't have to fill somebody because if you do not fulfill anyone's wishes, you lose three points, which is kind of bad. If you don't put anybody out there, they don't lose any points for them, but you also don't gain them. Then what you're going to do, once you have everything placed after the sixth round, or after all the cards of the dance or the auction run out, basically, which I believe, well, whatever, anyway, they do stand up. This one's just a little tricky because of the size of that character. Um, but it's funny because things like this hand, if you were to place this person here and this person here, you technically could cover it up. Anyway, I'm going to show you the final result. Now, this is what a final picture might look like. There are a few rules. It cannot be over the top. When you take a picture with the camera, it has to stay like this. It can't go over the top of the edge. you got to make sure it looks right. And then you start judging. Essentially, you're going to take the cards out of the envelope, which is nice because the Scoring sets up for the next time you play. You don't have to unstuff the envelopes because you're already unstuffing them and scoring. You check them, all right? So we just say we have this character here, all right? The three things. I want to stand away from the table. Boom, we failed there. I want to stand next to this person. Well, we had that person before it fell. And then I want to stand in the fourth row. Again, we failed that. Now, had we had this situation right here happening, forget the background for just a minute. Had we had this situation, they're standing next to each other. She's on the back row. And fourth row, see, 
those, these are really nice to have because they're kind of combo. Now, sometimes you have mutually exclusive ones, like I want to stand on the right side and I want to stand on the left side. You just have to do your best at that point. We would score six points because we met all three. If the VIP card was in here, we would score 12 points. That's how you play picture perfect. This game's a dream. It is such a joy to play. I'm just going to say it up front. I love this game. Everything about it is just so good. It's unique. First of all, the theme is unique. Taking a picture, right? The idea of the game is unique. You are having to deduct what every single person wants and gamble. Well, I didn't get that piece of information, but what if I stick that person here, right? So let's start from the top. Art, obviously the game's pretty. It's made to look pretty. You've got your backdrop, you've got your floor, you've got your characters, which are all kind of laid out. All of it is meant to look good and it achieves that goal so well. It looks great. This game just looks amazing on the table. I love how it looks. I love to see it. I love to play it. It's just so much fun. Um, the art inspires the game. The inspiration is taken through the art direction and the placement of the characters. And then last but not least, the last thing you do artistically, you take a real photo. But Brian, I don't have my smartphone with you. Please, it's 2021. Of course you have something or you can borrow someone else's. I'll tell you what's really cool. Looking through the photo stream, at mine and Carla's and, and others, especially but mine and Carla's because they're in the same photo stream, at our photos that we've taken to this game. So every time you play this game now, you've got a permanent reminder of a fun experience you had. Think about that. That transcends gaming. You don't always take a picture of your game, but think about it when you do, you have a permanent reminder so you can look at what everyone else had. Plus you have those three-dimensional blocking mechanics. So as far as the gameplay itself, the, the deduction is fantastic. I love the way that the cards switch out. You hopefully get an envelope you want. The auction system is cool. Uh, you don't even have to play with the auction method for it to be great, though. The game is already so good on its own. This is going to be, in my prediction, this is going to be a game we talk about for years to come because it's so unique, it looks good, and it does something different that you just don't see. So I absolutely adore this game. It is, it is so, so, so good. And... I, I just, I, it was one of those things where as soon as I looked down in, in my hands and saw the box and read the back of it, I thought, oh, I'm going to like this game. Now, that doesn't always pan out, right? There are many times where I think that and I'm like, ooh, this is not that great. This is not one of those. This game is so good. I highly implore you, go get picture perfect for your deeper gamer friends, for your lighter gamer friends. I don't care. This is a game that is going to hit my table for years to come because it fits so many different audiences. 100% love this game. It's a 9 out of 10 for me. Absolutely adore this game. I cannot say enough good things about Picture Perfect. So that is Picture Perfect from Arcane Wonders.